Hi guys, Deb from Aussie Mail here. If you're new to our channel, welcome. If you've been here a few times before, then welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a Chainmail Morse code bracelet. Now this is something I made quite a few years ago for my daughter and she absolutely loves it. Uh, she wears it all the time because it's you know, a little secret message between us um, that only she knows, unless of course she wants to share it with someone. It was actually her idea to uh, do this tutorial for you today. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so here's a sample piece of what your bracelet may look like at the end. Because the messages are personalized, um, each bracelet is going to look different. Um, this is the one that I did for this project. This is the original bracelet that I made for my daughter. As you can see, it's very well worn. This one's in 20 gauge, uh, which is 0.8 millimeter diameter wire. And the rings I used here were 2.75 or 7 64ths of an inch. Okay, and um, I would suggest if you've got a lot of letters that you would go to a 20 gauge uh, bracelet you can fit more letters in so this one and this is as I said this is my daughter's that I originally made for her many years ago this one actually says loved uh, which she very much is and you can see here I chose to do the letters in bright aluminium and the rest of the bracelet in anodized aluminium whereas this one I chose to do the individual letters in different colors this one spells out her name um, so individual colors for the letters and then bright aluminium for the joining. So I can't really give you ring counts for this um, bracelet because it really depends on the message that you're uh, wanting to use. But you will need, um, so any size that you want that works for say like Byzantine rose bracelet. If you know the sizes for a Byzantine rose bracelet, then those sort of the same sizes can be used here. But basically, um, you'll need rings to make up Byzantine. So in 20 gauge, uh, that is uh, 2.75 or 7 64ths if you want to do anodized aluminium. In 18 gauge, which is one uh, millimeter wire you would need 3.5 mils or 9 64ths of an inch in 16 gauge 1.25 generally about a 4.25 millimeter or 5 30 seconds which is what i've used here that also works and for a 14 gauge which is 1.6 millimeter diameter wire um, a ring size of 5.5 which uh, 730 seconds if you're looking to use anodized aluminium now the Mobius um, rings are not quite so specific in size but I would suggest in the 20 gauge to use about around about a 4 mil or uh, you could use 530 seconds there in the 18 gauge around a 5 mil id you could try the 3 16ths if you wanted to use color in uh, the 16 gauge um, about 6 mil or in this case i used a quarter of an inch which is 6.35 mil so you do have a little bit of fiddling uh, there in the 14 gauge about an 8 mil or say perhaps a 5 16ths of an inch and then of course the amount of rings you need will depend on the wrist size and uh, the words you're going to spell out. But that should give you an idea. For each Mobius unit I used three rings. And then if you count up the rings in the Byzantines there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen rings per Byzantine unit. And then of course there's your joining rings and um, your extension rings as well. Okay, so along with your rings, you're also going to need some sort of clasp attachment. So this is our stainless steel 002 clasp attachment, a lobster clasp that you can find on our website. If you've got a paper clip or a twist tie, something like that, that'll also prove handy while you're making up your Byzantine units. And of course, as always, you're going to need two pairs of pliers. Smooth jawed, these are our Zuron pliers. This is uh, the short nosed and this is the chiseled nose. 
but any pair of um, smooth jawed pliers. Okay. Okay, so before you start, um, you're going to need to work out exactly um, how many Byzantine sections you need and how many Mobius sections you need. So for this demonstration today, I'm just going to spell out um, my daughter's name, which is Kira, and it's spelled with a K I R A. So I'm just going to go through this. Uh, now, I just printed this off um, the internet. Just Google Morse code and uh, you'll be sure to come up with some sort of chart. So I can see here I'm going to need, for K, I'm going to need a Byzantine, a Mobius and a Byzantine for K. So I'm just going to get a scrap piece of paper and write down on here. So we've got Byzantine and Mobius. And I'm just going to go through and make a little check mark. So I need two Byzantines and one Mobius there. Kira, I need for the I, I need um, two Mobiuses. For the R, I need a Mobius, a Byzantine, and another Mobius. And the A is one Mobius and one Byzantine. So I can see in total to spell out uh, my daughter's name or the, the message, I need four sections of Byzantine. And I need six sections or six little Mobius flower units. Okay, so let's get started on making those. Okay, so for this bracelet, I've decided to do each letter in a different colour. And these are the four colours that I've chosen to use today. So I'm going to do the K in black ice, the I in lavender, the R in dark rose, and the A in sky blue. So to start off with, I need to make one Mobius in the black ice, two Mobiuses in this one, two Mobiuses in this one, and one Mobius in that. So let's just get started. Now I'm going to use, I think, the light blue to show you because the black ice is a little hard to see against our background. Okay, so these are our 16 gauge AWG, which is 1.2 millimeter diameter wire in the quarter inch or 6.35. So I'm just going to make a three ring Mobius flower. So to do that, I'm going to pop on, I'm just going to enclose our first ring. Okay, take up our second ring. Let's get these out of the view. Okay, take up our second ring. And I'm just going to feed that through the first ring, nice and easy. Close it up, okay, and then I'm going to nestle those two into each other just like that, okay. And then I'm going to take a third ring in the same colour, and I'm going to slip that through both of those rings, okay, and then it just nestles inside there as well to create a Mobius flower. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, make up the rest of the Mobius flowers that I need and I'll meet you back here for the next step. Okay, so now I'm going to do the Byzantine section and again um, I'm going to be using the light blue to show you how to do this. So if you know how to do Byzantine, by all means skip ahead, but if you don't, watch and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so to start the Byzantine, we're going to take our rings and we're going to close two of them, okay? Alright, and then I'm going to uh, pop those two onto a twist tie. If you don't have a twist tie, then a paper clip, something like that um, would be of great help. Just makes it a little easier, especially when you're using smaller rings. Um, you need a tail to hang on to. All right, so I'm going to make a chain here of three pairs of um, our rings. So these are the 530 seconds, or the 3.97 millimeter rings um, in our 16 gauge AWG, which is the 1.2 millimeter diameter wire. So we're going to start, as I said, by making up a small chain of three pairs of rings, so that's six rings in total. Okay, 
and in Byzantine uh, we always work in pairs and usually we work in pairs of three like we're starting with here okay so I've got my chain of three pairs of rings as you can see and what I'm going to do while I'm holding on to the tail this end here I'm going to flip one of those rings either side of our chain so it looks like that and I'm going to take them all the way back so that I pinch them with my fingers okay so we hold those in place and then what we want to do if if these ring rings here haven't been separated yet and sometimes they do that when you give the others a little pinch give them a little bit of a separation so that we can see these rings here that we folded back okay and with those rings we want to take up an opened ring and we want to come in here and scooch our ring straight through that path there so that we pick up both of those rings you see that okay close that up take up another jump ring another open jump ring and put it through the same path Okay, so remember I said we always work in pairs for Byzantine. Okay, so that's half of our Byzantine unit done. And what we're going to do now is um, create another chain of three pairs like we did at the beginning. So the rings that we just put in there, they're our first pair in the chain. And then we just want to add more rings so that we're back to that chain of three pairs okay so just keep adding it to the end pair of rings until you've got that chain of three pairs in place so just one more pair now through there okay and our last ring And close it up. So as you can see I've got another chain of three pairs of rings one two three and like we just did we're going to fold back that end pair of rings okay one each side of our chain all the way back till we pinch them against our piece so it looks something like this and then we want to separate out that end pair of rings there and we want to bring our next open ring in and pick up this pair of rings that's exposed there. So they were the rings we actually just folded back. So we're just going to lock them into place by putting our next ring straight through that gap and picking them both up. Okay, and we close our ring and we repeat with a second ring. Okay. So that's uh, one completed Byzantine unit and you'll make up as many of those as you need to form your word. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back here to show you the next step. Okay, so I've got all the individual components um, made up to spell out my word and the next step is to join the, the uh, bits together. So again, using our sky blue, which is the letter A, which when we go back to our chart here you can see it's a dot and a dash so Mobius unit first and then the Byzantine unit and all I do to join these is take up a ring that's in the same color as the units so whatever color you're doing it um, and this is the same size ring that I made the Byzantine unit with and I'm just going to go through the middle of the Mobius unit and then of course before I close it pop on the Byzantine unit and close it up okay now I'm choosing not to double that ring um, just so it, you don't get confused um, about it being a, dat and a, a, dot, a dot and a dash sorry but if you're not feeling very secure about it, then you can always double that ring up, not a problem. So then you just need to go through all your letters and join them together. 
and I'll do that now and I'll get back to you for the next step. Okay, so once you've got um, your dots and dashes joined to form your letters, it's now time to um, join your letters to form your word. So we want to make this joining very distinctive. We want to make sure that we can see that this is one letter and that it doesn't merge easily into the next letter. So to do that, I'm going to join with bright aluminium because it's completely different color than um, what we've been using. And again, I'm just using the same size ring that I used to make the Byzantine units with. And I'm just going to join these together. Again, you can leave this separate, you can make it double, it's up to you. It, I like to make it double this time just to make it very distinctive that that's where the letter ends and the next one begins. Okay, so on here we've got the K which is you know, dash dot dash and the I which is dot dot. Okay, and we just keep doing that, making sure we've got our letters joining up the right way until you've got them all joined together. Okay. Oops. And you just do that until you've got your word established. Okay. So we've got K, I, R there and we're just going to pop on the A making sure we've got that in the right order we don't want to join it dash and then dot we want to make sure that we're spelling it correctly so just keep an eye on that as you uh, join your letters together but you are actually doing them in the correct order Otherwise, a completely different word could be spelt. Okay, so once you've got your words spelt out like that, all you need to do then to make it up to the length that you require is to, I like to do just a simple chain. I mean, it's up to you. You can do whatever chain you like. I wouldn't suggest it being either Byzantine or Mobius because that would be quite confusing for the message. So I'm just going to do a simple 222 two, two chain, but you could do maybe like a JPL, that would look lovely. Um, as I said, any other chain uh, that doesn't take away or confuse from the message section of your bracelet. So I wouldn't do anything too fancy, to be honest. We want the message to be um, the, the main focus of our bracelet. Um, so that's why I like doing the simple 2 2 2 chain um, until I've got the length that I require. And then I'll just add on a lobster clasp at the end. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish making up this bracelet to fit my daughter's wrist and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so I've added the length on that I require on each end and I've tried to make that even on each end. Um, you may not be able to do that, it may be too, tr you know, the length you need doesn't work that way. But, um, you know, even each end would look great. And I'm just going to pop one final ring through the end and put our lobster clasp on. Okay, and then on the other end of the bracelet, I'm just going to add one more single ring that we can close that clasp onto. Okay, and there you go. That's the final bracelet. In this case, spelling out my daughter's name, Kira. Okay guys, well that's it. I really hope you enjoy this tutorial today and you enjoy making your own little Morse code bracelets. Um, don't forget if you did like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up, leave a comment, we'd love to hear from you, uh, share the video and if you haven't already, become a subscriber to our channel. It really does help us and uh, we'd love to keep creating these tutorials for you. Um, 
if you want to share what you've done with us, check us out on Instagram or you can pop it up on our Facebook page. Um, and while you're here on our YouTube channel, check out some of the other videos we have here for you. We've got over a hundred tutorial videos here, so there should be something for everybody to choose from. And of course, if you're looking for supplies to make this bracelet or any of the tutorials that we've got up here on YouTube, don't forget to check out our website as well. Alright guys, well thanks again for joining us today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you again sometime in the future. Bye!